So here we are in Google, and what happens is we get the chatbots in a template from a company called, so write this down, fastbots.ai. And I'm going to now go to their website. Here it is here. And I can log in through my Google. So this is just a normal website. Log in with Google. Uh, normally, obviously, you would sign up and make an account. I think you've already done it, Christina, haven't you? Because you get one free. Oh, no, I never got the one free because oh. I didn't finish it. So yeah. they deleted it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not to worry. Okay. So... This is now the hub of where we are. Here's some of the web, here's some of the chatbots we already have, and some of these are on trial. Now, Christina gave me a company called La Maxine. Maxine. So I set up a bot. This is a, a bot straight from Fastbots. It's it's got nothing in it. So I'm going to show you how you would create it right from the beginning. So, so how uh, do you set up that box there? That I just how do you set up what you just clicked yeah, on? Yeah, all I did, if it's let's see if I can go back. Yeah, all I did, Christina, was click new. <laughs> Where is that? I can't see it. All right, let, I'll I'll get my marker up. It's a good idea to do that anyway. Oh yeah, I can see it now. I have to I have to move you guys. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I can see, I can see it now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yep. you, you can see it now, can you? Yeah, so yep. I yeah, I just clicked new and it immediately uh just creates a new one. So that's all I did. Mm -hmm. And now this is oh uh, here's Viv. Viv from South Carolina, by the way. So we've got a, a very international audience here. When you log in. Um, if you can have a look, I'll just get the annotations. Can you see? Oh, uh, yeah, you can see that red line? Yep. Great. So let's concentrate on this area here. Okay. Can everybody see that? Yep. yep. Great. Now, when we, we've created a new chatbot and it's got nothing in it, if we look here, we can see that it's you know it's got it's been trained on nothing at the moment. So again, looking on the left, I'm just going to click on links, and it takes me to another screen. So again, you can see I've not done um, anything fancy at the moment. Mm -hmm. I've just opened an account. It's come here, collected, uh, created a new chatbot, and clicked on links. And now I want to add a link. So it's HTTP uh, forward slash forward slash. And um, it's La Maxine. Is it .com that are you? Do you know? Oh, having a look at. Yeah. Yeah, the first one is HTTPS. Oh, Call it's... on us, uh, backslash to backslash and L A M A X I M E dot com. Ah, it's dot com. Okay. So, yep. again, guys, you can see all I'm doing is typing that into a link. Yep. I've not done anything else. I'm now clicking start. Yeah. And I can see that it's now done. <laughs> Doesn't take long, does it? Yeah, um, I got on another one as well. Yeah, okay, we'll just we'll just stay with that one there. Now, okay, you can see what it's done is not only put that website in, but it's put all the different pages. Oh, by the way, I should say the company does. Uh, what does it do, Christina? Cosmetic skin and uh, just uh, skincare. A uh, skincare. But look, I've got, it's found, can you all see it's got every page on there? Yeah. This is wow. Christina. This is a really good website. She should, she should look at this. That 
now means I've hit start. All I do is hit save. Yeah. And I have now created that chatbot. All I did was type in the name, hit start. And if I now go to overview, can you see here? That is a carbon copy of, of the chatbot. So, so that's a copy of the chat box on her website at the moment. Uh, no, oh, yeah, it's website. not that. Okay. That's what will be there. This is us training at the moment. So we're yeah. just. Oh, you got to click on the thing, right? So this is the actual website. Um, is everybody with me? This yeah. is the website that the woman who Christina's, you know, trying to sell a chat box to. This is the actual website. Okay, is everybody with me? I'm going to her website. Um, and ah, this is great. What whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> so Tracy, always avoid ethical palmitate when you're doing your skin. I do. Can you not tell? Yeah, you can. It's looking very good. So now I've gone back to my fast bot. I've gone back to the what we're calling La Maxine bot, and I'm saying what is, and I copied and pasted it, so. Okay, so let's see if the chat bot has picked that up. And that was on a random page, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay, a hexamol mm -hmm. palmitate. It's using oh. cosmetics as an emollient or perfume agent. And I'm going to say now, provide more detail. So it's got that from the website. I think that's pretty much what was on the website. It can plug pores and things like that. But I'm going to say, give me more detail. And this is now showing... So it's saying here, this can lead to skin issues such as breakouts and may worsen acne conditions. And you may see up here in the training, the, we've already now got 272,000 characters that this chatbot knows already. And that's taken from the website. That's taken from the website. But look, we can, let's go back to links. Links is, just to make sure you all know where links is, links is the most important one because this is, actually, I shouldn't say that because they're all important, but links is where you just upload websites and, and the chatbot will then read the entire website like it did before and will totally be able to answer any question on it. So I'm going to now put so, so in... When you're saying, yeah. when you're saying websites, are they including like uh, Facebook server pages, LinkedIn no, it, and it, all that? It could do that, but no, we're not doing that. We're, we're, at the moment, it's just got the uh, Maxine's actual website in it. And it will have uh, extraneous information, which it's getting from somewhere on the net, like it like it did before. But let me tell you what I do. If I go back to links, and don't forget, links allows. So all I'm going to do now is add a new link. Clicked on add. Notice as well, I can put in Word documents, Excel, YouTube web pages and everything but what i'm going to do this is what i always do i put in the client website first and then the next thing i will do is go to the general web and i'll go to wikipedia and i will type in wikipedia and now let's just put in skincare i would make sure it was relevant and I would tell the client that I'm doing this. So here we are in Wikipedia. 
skincare. Now, what I can do is copy that URL, go back to my bot, and type it in where I'm going to add it, and then press start. And, you know, it's already done it because it's only done a web page here. So if I scroll down, yeah, we can now save it. Can you see the skincare there, Wikipedia? Yes. And I can save it. So it's now actually saved. If I go back to my overview, I could ask, give me advice on general skincare. And this will take it from both websites. Now, look at all of that, which wouldn't be on her normal website. So a client, a client of hers will now have this chatbot on the front page that will look exactly like this, although we'll, we'll, we'll be changing the appearance. And already it's talking about cleansing and nourishing, moisturizing, acne care, research and development, sun protection. And I can say, prepare a 500 word document on sun protection. And there it is. <laughs> so up to now, uh, by the way, what's your friend's name? <laughs> uh, Jackie. Jackie, up to now, Jackie, outside hours, if a client wants to ask a question or get in touch or has some customer service, uh, at the moment, Jackie has no response for that. What about if um, uh, I want to add something into, like, uh, I want to uh, add, uh, uh, let's say I want to have yeah. the chat box to be more sales orientated. Uh, Christina, great question, and we're about to go into that. Can you see how easy it is to get a chat box going? That's why it's so easy for me to say you've got 48 hours to uh, evaluate this chatbot, which um, is, is completely personalized for you. So I've done that in just a few clicks. And we can see now that we're up to 761,000 characters. Now, the other thing I would add, and this will be interesting for you, Lawrence, the other thing I would add is that it's so easy if I've got it. Let's imagine we've been doing this for a real estate agent. Yeah. Well, the real estate agent has to follow regulations from REWA and has to follow certain laws. We can easily just type in rewa.com.au. The important thing is we're typing in the regulatory body as well as the website. So are there any questions on what I've covered? Uh, no, it's, uh, uh, it's all very interesting. And, you know, it's going, to be, it's going to take me a little bit to get into it properly. You'll be surprised, uh, Lawrence, as soon as you start playing with it. I would be surprised, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Trace, you're gonna say something? Uh yeah, like I did a dummy chat bot just to try it out. And I yes. put in, I put in the company website and then the regulatory body website. Oh well done. Um, yeah, well, as I was asking her questions, it was coming back with something that just didn't make sense. And yeah. I remember I mentioned it to you and you said, yeah, you've got to train them. So I'm just wondering, yeah. how, do you, how do you do that when it's established um, when you've set it up and you show it to a potential customer and they go, oh, look, it's not accurate. 
you've obviously then got to do some more work on it. So maybe I'm jumping the gun. Uh, no, you're not jumping the gun. It's a great question. And really, this is how we earn our money. We earn our money by, by manipulating the knowledge base so that you don't get these strange answers. And they're called, again, just to give you the technical jargon, they're called hallucinations. Artificial intelligence has been going since the 40s. It's, it's not a new technology, but the transformer technology is new. We looked at the overview and chat history. The little questions I've put in there are in there now. So I can, there's my questions. I, I put in, uh, where's your shop located three hours ago? Uh, and then during this presentation, provide more detail on ethical palmitate. There are two support packages. One support package where we basically, our support is just if they can't access it or something goes wrong. Uh, and that's called the standard support. That's $45 a month. But for $95, one of the services that you'll provide is to every month email them their messages. And believe me, this is important to them so they can see the chat history. This is a really important one where you're setting the behavior of the chatbot in the Tune AI. So I'll actually tune it first before I go to the text training. Oh, right. This is really important because, okay, first of all, here, it's allowing me to choose which search engine I want. And this info here tells you uh, how many message credits you get per response. So you get so many credits and then you use them up. Remember, we were talking about hallucinations. And this, all I'm doing is dragging this pointer slider, and I can go from zero to one. And if it's up here, I'm making it very, very creative. So you will get more hallucinations. Now, oh, that, okay. yes, yes, you can make it. Okay, if I was dealing with someone who wants inspiration to write stories, I would have it, in fact, I still wouldn't have it that high, but I would have it about here. And if I was dealing with a real estate agent that has to be exact with the facts and the lawyer, I would tend to, I normally put them around here. So you're, it's still being creative, but it's not going over the top. Now, you can play around with this, but like I say, if somebody is creating music, and you may think, oh, that's just for fun, you can now do jingles for your own website. You can do jingles for clients. Does anybody I, I have a question? I just want to confirm here because I yes, think it went a little bit over my head. So All with right. the AI creativity, yes. so the more... Um, uh, fact orientated and maybe a lawyer or something like that they their bar should be more to the left and the more creativity it is maybe a florist or something like that would be to the right yes it's exactly right it's i wouldn't just do it per industry i'd be thinking just think about it holistically the more creative you want it to be the more you slide the slider to the right, it is so much better than it used to be. But let's have a look at the um, the prompt. This is where we really give the personality of the chatbot. You're telling it how you want to behave. So this is an actual tuning that I've already done. Now, this will give you a great indication of how you can make it do things, okay? Mm -hmm. So you are question answer bot, answer bot 
called La Maxime. I'd like the, every time the chatbot answers a question, I'd like you to say, to order, go to the website. So one thing I want you all to know, which you should tell your prospects, hey, let your chatbot will do your selling for you. People will listen to a chatbot, whereas if I put you through to, or if I was answering your support call, and I said, hey, do you want to hear about any of our specials? You would just go, uh, nah, just post me something or send me an email. <clears throat> but with a chatbot, you will. And I know this has made a very big difference to her. So if the client says, I want uh, the chatbot to sell more skin care, yeah. especially if we have specials, can you have a question like that? Can you have yeah. that? Yeah, I could type that in. You must add the following statement to the end of each response. Yeah. Well, sell so they, oh, okay. more skincare products. Yeah. And what we will now see when we go back and do some questions, they will add that in. You don't want the chatbot to answer every single question there's ever been, like ChatGPT can. With ChatGPT, I always put in who won the World Cup in 1966 because it was England. Name the team. ChatGPT can do that. But we don't want this chat chatbot to do it. So it's saying only answer relevant questions. If you don't have the answer anywhere, <clears throat> either on the website or in Wikipedia or anywhere, just say, I'm not sure about that. Please contact your local garden center in this case for more information and then stop. Refuse to answer any question not about the information. Your job is to help the customer by answering all of their questions and selling more. So you'd be amazed that, you know, he'll answer questions and then he'll say, by the way, we have a special on this this week. You can make this as sales orientated as you want. You will continue answering questions until the user says that they have no more questions. And now if I go back to my overview, what is good for red eyes? And I have no idea if they'll have anything here. It probably, oh no, it probably won't. Okay. To help with red eyes, you can use, ah, can you, uh, is everybody, can everybody see sell more skin products? So we've given a response and obviously you wouldn't say sell more skin products. You'd say, would you like to know more about any of our skin products? Uh, you know, anything you want. Can, can you all see how that has completely improved the chatbot? Amen. Yeah? Can we ask it something like, um, what's your policy with maybe faulty products or... Oh, absolutely. How do I return a product? Something like that. Oh, absolutely. Now, I don't know whether... Can I return a product if I if it doesn't work, let's say? Christina, you have to ask... In fact, all of you, you have to ask your prospects when they're trialling it for 48 hours... Get as many documents from them, their environmental documents, their HR document, their privacy document, their return policy. Get all of those. Go to the links. Sorry, Eamon. I just yeah. noticed the very last sentence on that. Yeah. Fonts said, sell more products. Yeah, because we told it to. But it wouldn't communicate that on the chatbot, surely. No, well, no, it does. I wouldn't. What would normally happen? Let, let me. Um, Let's just go back to the response. Yeah, if we go back to the here, you must add the following statement to the end of each response. I only type type that in. It could obviously be. Okay. We wish you a merry Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you click add. You can put all the Word documents in. 
Okay, so now let's go to text. There will be some questions that it won't always answer the way you want it to answer. So here, you can just have a question and answer. Now, it still will give a different answer, but it will go here first. And it will look at these answers, and these will take prominence. Use this section to add frequently asked questions and the responses the chatbot should provide. And then it won't hallucinate anymore. And every answer it provides will be a lot closer to how you would like it to uh, reply. I'll show you the embed and share, and then I'll show you the appearance. Let's say Jackie... Christina and I would normally spend a bit of time getting this perfect, getting the Word documents, getting it all in. And then we may say, look, why don't we, um, uh, we'll send it now to Christina. If we go to embed and share, this now is A, this is sharing your bot. So I can copy this and, and send it in an email. You can take that script, give it to your web developer, and they will copy it here and then paste it onto your website. Title. So I'm going to put in La Maxines. And that's it. Can, uh, can we look over on the right? It's already got it in. That's what, if we went back and looked at the overview, it's already got La Maxine's already in there. Uh, and this is the first message. I tend to leave this. I think no good trying to get too um, clever. This works fine. You know, how can I help you today? But just for demonstration purposes, I'll change it to what is the best practice for your skin and again look it's immediately updated the chatbot suggest questions that's the one that comes down here you might always uh, give an example question how do i cleanse better and can you see it's now giving a sample question here. Lead collection is very important. Get in touch after every, okay, we'll make it four. After every four questions, it will now ask the client to fill out a lead form. And, and this is how you get leads. So I'll save it so that it does it. What is good skin all i'm trying to do is ask four questions there is come up with the lead because it's, i've already got four questions would you like to know more about main, maintaining good skin sell more oh that's still in there <laughs> <laughs> get in touch and you can change get in touch to what you want and give me your name email and people will do this and, and that's about it so can you all see i'll actually stop sharing my screen so we can have a oh hello viv viv's from south carolina do you have yeah. any question viv um no i just grabbed that embed code and was trying to work out where to put it in my website so looking at my actual website to see where to put oh, the embed uh, code yeah you would just normally set the good question you would normally, you have a word with your uh, web designer or you do it yourself. You would put it in the header or the footer. Okay. Yeah, so that it's on every page. Did you all get the feeling how easy it was? It's a great session. Thank you, Eamon. Yeah, oh, that's my you. pleasure. Thanks, Tracy. Uh, Brian, did you follow most of it or all of it? Well, I tried to, Eamon. Um, as I said to you before, it's a bit... Um, it's a bit new, you know. I'm sure there's yes. there's great 
potential in it, you know. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to learning more, Eamon, um, and catching up. Yeah, but the same with everybody here, all of the agents. Um, I'm always available for one-on-one. -on -one. In another three months and around Christmas time, I think we're going to be doing some amazing stuff together and that's what it's all about so look I, I will stop it now because it's 25 past seven so we've uh, going an hour and a half i'm so sorry for you people i get but i did want to do, go slowly and give a thorough overview so hopefully it's helped but i'll say goodbye to you all oh, no, can i just suggest something yeah um, because we are a group on facebook and we all not all of us but you know we're all setting up and we all knew at this yeah um, if we have any general questions, uh, could we put that on the group and let's say I, I do something and I, I get stuck and instead of ringing you all the time, maybe the group can answer it and then we all learn. Great I don't know point. If yeah? Yeah. I encourage everybody to start using the group a lot more. Well, the other thing is you can deal with any website anywhere in the world. Yeah. Cool. Okay, gang, lovely to talk to you. I'm going to be saving a recording. I'll uh, give it a quick video edit, and I'll put it up on the uh, Quickware Gen AI agency page tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank lovely you all for your all. attendance. See you. See you, you soon. So Thanks, thank everyone. You. Bye.
starting out 